All right, so we've done our evacuation. We can do a charge by weight. If we do a charge by weight, it's telling us that we don't have a tank on the scale. It knows that we're not hooked up. So in this case, we would go ahead and put our tank on the scale. Uh, our hoses would already be connected. We'd be connected to our inlet. We would program our charge, push enter. The valves would open. And this is a pressure, di pressure differential weight. We, it's not, there's nothing in here pumping the machine or pumping the refrigerant from the tank into the machine. So you will get to a point in certain climates that, you know, if you've got very little refrigerant left in your tank, it's a cooler day or whatever, where this is going to slow down. The machine will tell you if it doesn't think that it's moving enough and you need to replace the tank. Once you've got everything connected and the machine is weighing the tank, do not touch the tank. We have a habit of, oh, it's moving slow, let me, let me juggle the tank. Well, this is very sensitive because we're, well, we're talking about critical charge. So if we lighten the weight on it, it thinks that that's how much more has been added to the system, and so it's going to throw off your entire charge. So once you're set, don't touch the tank anymore. So that's charge by weight. Let's go back to our main menu. Okay, so now we go back to the main menu. We've looked at charging by weight. Again, we're gonna have a much more detailed um, on the auto mode, which is charging by weight later. Charging by Super E subcooling. So, again, we are, we've got everything connected. We've got our hoses, our tanks. It tells us, turn on the system, attach the two temperature sensors to system. So we got our high and low side. We attach them. Um, charging by super and subcooling is not an automatic operation. We're not going to program our target subcooling sub and push start and let it do it. That's not the way it works. This will now become your digital scale. So now that we're ready to charge by super and subcooling, we so what we're showing up here, uh, we're showing our scale, our subcooling. Our pressures, of course, I'm not connected to a system right now. Uh, our liquid saturation, our high temperature. So I will go ahead and uh, warm the temperature probe up until the blood stops flowing to the end of my finger. So as our temperature is going up, it's, 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 it's adjusting our subcooling. The only valve open at this point in time, or valves internally, is the inlet and the outlet on the vapor side, okay? So you, this is the low side of your manifold gauge. You're gonna throttle in the refrigerant just like you would using uh, a digital manifold gauge with temperature probes. So again, using subcooling superheat you're the technician, you need to understand how to do it, the machine doesn't do it for you. What it allows you to do is when you walk up to, yeah, my blood has stopped flowing, so we'll take that off. What it allows you to do is to hook up to the machine when you're ready to, to charge the, you're evacuating charge the unit and you do not disconnect until you have completely finished with the job. That's what this is allowing you to do. So once it's completely charged, you can also, and I recommend this if you're on a job, you've got it charged, but you're still going to be on the job for a little while because we know that certain things, as the temperature comes down in the house, the humidity level changes, the, um, the 4, 10, 8, the time it takes to balance the, uh, to adjust after you adjust the charge, then we're going to go back to our main menu and I'll show you another feature that we have here and that is system monitor. So the system monitor, everything is closed. All of our internal valves are closed. And again, we have our digital manifold screen up, so it's showing us all the information, it just doesn't allow you to do anything. So it's something that I would recommend that um, 
until you're ready to leave the job site, the system's running, go ahead and leave it in system monitoring so you can periodically check and make sure that no other issues pop up. Um, another feature will stop that. Go back to our main menu. So after we've, we're done with our job, we've taken everything. We've basically taken our hoses off. We've done everything away. We go ahead, open up. Let's go down to purge. We're going to push start for purge. What it's doing is it's kind of making sure everything's open so that we do not leave residual refrigerant trapped. Of course, it's going to throw off your micron sensor. You know, um, if your next machine you hook up to is 22, you don't want the 14 a in there, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so purging is complete. Purging complete, press enter to the main menu. And that is a quick walkthrough on the operation of the NRC62D. NAVAC Refrigerant Charging Station.